go. Right, question four. Um, sequences and series. A sequence U1, U2, U3 is defined by Un is 5n plus 1. State the values of U1, U2, and U3. Um, okay, uh, well, U1 means what would happen if you put 1 in place of n. So that's just going to be 5 times 1 plus 1, or 6. So U1 is 6. U2, again, replace n by 2. So 5 times 2 plus 1. So that's going to be 10 plus 1, so 11. We've got U2. But we still haven't found what we're looking for. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. So, so you three, let me start. I just thought I'd give a moment there for the joke to kind of seep in. And don't well sing. Played. Right, five threes plus one would be 16. There we go. Um, hence, or it now asked us to evaluate. Shh. Evaluate the sum. That's what this, this symbol means. Sigma, the sum of the first 40 terms. It then goes from 1 to 40. Now, in order to do this, we need to know what kind of a sequence this is. What kind of a sequence is it? Um. Arithmetic. It's an arithmetic progression because it's going up by the same common difference every time. So for part two, we actually need to recognise that this is an AP, that the first term is six, and the common difference is five, it's going up by five each time. And the question wants us to find the sum of the first 40 terms. So the sum of the first 40 terms from the formula sheet, the second of the two formulas that we wrote down is n over 2, 2a plus n minus 1 d. times d. So we're working out. There we're on core 2, so we can use a calculator. We've got 20 times, um, what is this, 12 plus... 39, 5, 195. Is it? Don't know, Dave. We'll just. Okay. Um, so we've got 20 times. Yeah, if my calculator. Yeah, it's 20 times 5. Is anybody good today? 4,105. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Right, so that's that done. Uh, part three. And now this, this gets to be interesting now. We're told in part three that there is another sequence. W1, W2, W3, defined by W1 is 2, and Wn plus 1 is 5W plus Wn plus 1. This is what we call a recurrence relation. This is where every new term we get by doing something to the current term. And we're supposed to find the value of P such that UP plus W3. We need to find W3 first. So we're told that, let's work this out for W, we're told that W1 is 2, W2 is 5 WN plus 1, so it's 5 times the previous term plus 1. which is looking pretty similar so far. That's 11. 
But then look what happens. W3, under this new rule, is 5 times the previous term plus 1. So 5 times the previous term plus 1. 56. So this term I've got 56. Okay. And the question said, find the value of P so that UP equals W3. Well, UP, UP is uh, 5 P plus 1, and W3 is 56, so we want to know when is 5P plus 1 equal to 56. So P equals 11, and we've done it. It all added up nicely. <laughs> That was rubbish. Stop the video. What was the joke? I just used it all at 